In case you haven't heard of Randonautica, let me give you a quick summary of how this all works. Randonautica is an app that produces random quantum coordinates, much like how a random number generator works. It's meant to encourage exploring local places you would have never been to had you not been sent there through this app. Whenever you generate a quantum point, in actuality thousands are generated in the designated area on the map. There are a few types of points you can choose from. An attractor is a location with a high density amount of points. A void is the opposite with the lowest density of points. There is power, which will be either an attractor or a void depending on which one is the strongest. Finally, there is a blind spot, which I couldn't find a thorough explanation of online. All I could find about it is that it's simply a local place you've never been before. But before choosing one of those options, you have to put out an intent, something to manifest. The idea is that your mind is actually powerful enough to be able to manipulate those numbers so that the outcome is actually not so random at all. All of this could be a recipe for a memory memorable adventure or a potential disaster. Oh, you saw that. <gasps> what, what the fuck? fuck? So Lupita came and she brought both of her cousins. Not my, yeah. my boyfriend and my little cousin. Get over here, Damien. Hi. <laughs> mm, I like how you smell like cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon toast. So we are doing Randonautica today. Last video, I was telling Lupita that I manifested love, right? Mm -hmm. And it took us to a neighborhood that had um. Pika. Uh, but sorry. LGBTQ. It literally had rainbows. It had a house that said everyone is welcome. Oh, then we should have went it. over. Oh yeah, we should have gone in their house. Yeah. Oh, I'm so scared. So I think why. like the government is controlling us. Gio, do you want to manifest Illuminati? No, that's scary. Don't do that, babe. But I heard it's, it's nothing. Like it doesn't exist. Are you saying that because you're on camera? Mm. <laughs> so first one, let's do right in. What does that mean? I don't understand. Writing on these nuts. <laughs> I can dump it. So a tracker has the most con quantum quantum points. Wait, is this mine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this one's the most random, which is power. Should we do power for the first one? Yeah. Or empty void. She's gonna tell me. I've okay. been. I. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, she scared me. Consuelo me asustaste. I'm so sorry. I love you. I Consuelo. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to call you that. We all have to think about something that doesn't belong, something that's out of place. Can you give or me an put your energy into it? Something that doesn't belong. I think it's you, Monica. Something that doesn't belong. Something that doesn't belong. That is crazy. Wait, how long do you have, do you have to do it right now? Yeah, <laughs> just uh, manifest. Wait, wait, wait. No, I, I'm not ready. <laughs> Start generator jump. point. Yeah. Something that doesn't belong. Something that doesn't belong. Imagine it takes us to Mexico. Hawaii. That'll be scary. Why did we just go to this quantum point and this whole f person is sky? Oh my <laughs> fucking god! Angel number is five five five. We're gonna have to look that up. Be this is some scary shit over here. This is where it's taking us. I don't know. It's giving me creepy vibes. There's actually a train track over here, dude. This is a train track thing over here. It's really creepy. Oh, it's oh, actually look. here. It's the refinery. What the hell? That's some weird shit. Look, you guys. Go all the way inside. Record the refinery. Wait, you could go in there? Yeah. What is it? You could go all the way inside, honey. My direction is a little bit. I'm just kidding. I'm just record here, record, here, record here, record here, record here. Have you guys heard about environmental racism? Racism? Yeah, they build these refineries in like low income neighborhoods because they're people not going to give Take it out. Because oh. they're probably thinking we're recording. Climate change is disproportionately impacting black and brown communities. It's called environmental racism. 
A study found that black Americans are exposed to 56% more pollution than they produce, whereas non-Hispanic white Americans are exposed to 17% less than they produce. Nearly half of all Latino Americans live in counties frequently violating clean air and ozone standards. We have the most dangerous air. Imagine being in a place that you can't breathe the air. North Camden is in a 90 to 95 percentile of, of, of more likely to have cancer because of air quality. So it'll be that a tip for everybody. So I don't know if this is true. One of my cousins told me that whenever you're about to talk about like someone that did brujería or something or like a story, you have to say hoy es domingo before you start saying the story so that that way they don't hear you. Like, Bitch, the... you told the whole story before. I know, I forgot. <laughs> but you know, like that's, that's a tip. Hoy es domingo. First location, I would say that's a success, right? Something that doesn't belong. I guess. So now we're manifesting what? You want to do your life's purpose? Mm -hmm. My life purpose in this world. does life purpose. It better be something good because if not, I think I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, so second location, we're doing a void. Cause we did power last time, right? Can we get out of here? I feel creeped out okay, here. Okay, okay, okay. So dark. I told you we're breaking the first rule of random nodding, which is you can't go during the nighttime. You do it. Look, your life purpose, your life purpose. Something think about it. Think something about positive. It. I'm ready. That's life purpose. Georgia or jungle. <laughs> Lupita's positive Dream. purpose. Imagine it takes us to a garbage can. Ya estás tú, next to the next to me. Ya estás tú, next to me. Oh, hell, no way. Hello? Hello? It's moving. Hello? Hi. Are you okay? Hello? Do you need help? Babe? What the hell? What is it doing? I don't know. Hey! Are you alright? Hello? Oh. Does she need Babe? help? Oh my god. Is that a woman? I don't know what the f it is. Look at me shake. Hello? Hey. Are you okay? Do you need help? Babe, that thing don't have a face. Lubina, what did you just say? I said it better not be some L-O-T-B-T flags because <laughs> men are gonna think that I'm in love with you. Well, that's a that's... fact that everyone knows, huh, Gio? I'll oh, see. I was just telling Gio that, uh, cause we actually came to PB this morning to go hike. And I was telling Dio that if I ever become rich, I want a house in PB because it's just weird that we're coming over here. Yeah. We're lost. This is where it took us last time. That does not look right. It's like, how did they even find that point? Merge to traffic left. This is exactly where it took us last time. Okay, this is kind of creepy. We put night shot. Not my life. This is a landfill. Oh, it's a landfill. <laughs> Imagine it takes us to a garbage can. What? <laughs> it's a landfill. I'm confused. All those men is landfill. It took us to the landfill. So what the f is my purpose here? Am I a witch or You're something? You're trash. That's, That's you. That's what a landfill is. People come here to throw garbage away. Like, it's because you said trash, you dumb bitch. But this is where it took us last time. Me and Fabio and Nelly went random nodding. That's weird. So is your purpose here too? Maybe it knows that you smell. Te bañastes? Pendeja. The next day we went inside and there, you guys were, went people, inside? there were people with horses and stuff. But we didn't go that way. We went you this way. You guys went walking? Maybe it wants us to ride horses. So we need to find a place where we can actually walk around. So life purpose would be like our mission, right? Yeah. So I can't do that one then, huh? Because she just did that one. Is there any questions that you have about life or anything? Okay. Anything you've been curious about? Like marrying me or something, babe? Um, Maybe I'll take you to the um, jewelry the, store, huh, Monica? The jewelry store? <laughs> I'm down. Oh, how about we go see some crazy sh**? Like, like, how about like like a ritual or something? Are you, <gasps> are you gonna crazy. stay up until I sleep? Because we're not doing that. Okay, let's not do that. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> let's do something crazy. We could just say that, something crazy. Yeah. Something crazy that doesn't harm us. Yeah. You done? You think that sounds cool? Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, let's do that then. Wanna do a blind spot? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Alrighty, something crazy, something crazy, something crazy. Something with a f***ing 
Go. Let me think and not crash into us. Smelly. I mean, Lubita. <laughs> There's something called the butterfly effect, which is when some small and insignificant event creates a chain of consequences that lead to large changes. The name comes from the theory that the flap of a butterfly's wings could be the catalyst of a hurricane. I think random nodding can have similar effects. There are stories I've read of people experiencing glitches in the matrix caused by disrupting cycles of routine by something as small as a last minute decision to take a different route home. In the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once, the way they'd be able to shift realities is by doing something ridiculous that was completely out of character. So us doing these spontaneous and mysterious trips, or even just taking the different path home, opens up a plethora of completely different timelines than if we would have just stuck to our regular routines. For example, in 2019, after months of telling me to download TikTok, Fabi finally convinced me. I downloaded it out of boredom and decided to post a random clip from one of my older videos. Had she not convinced me? I really do believe none of you guys would be watching this right now. Think about that. Imagine you hadn't gone to that place and met that person who did that thing. What would life be like? There is some danger to straying away from our regular routines and disrupting the natural order of things. Routines are safe. Think about the age-old question. If a tree falls in the middle of a forest and nobody is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, what if we were around to hear it? What if we're standing under it in the right place at the wrong time? Oh, like they were, it smells like caca. Hola, oh. Monica. Pinche perro. Bitch, this is your location. Do what is that caca? It has a gate, we're not going. It says, um. What the? There's a car behind us, too. No outlet means like no way to go out. Well, you have to go back. Oh god. Like uh, uh, you guys down to walk around? Not here. What the? Look at the window. Can you stop putting my window down? What does it say? It sounds like this. <laughs> oh, Gino. they did. How do I focus it? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I see. This is my purpose. <laughs> Can you put my window up? I'm scared. Yeah. Alright, let's go. What the? I've never seen no shit like this. I'm scared. Oh my god, this is crazy, dude. I don't know, but can you lock the door and stop putting your emergency lights on? Monica, put my window up. <laughs> what are you hot. doing? I don't care. I'd rather be hot and. I'd rather be poor than live here. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't move up here. I don't care how Not nice. Not a street, so it's down here. Let's just go and then do like U turn. Something okay, quick. this looks more open. Wait, can you record from the back? Uh, I don't know if I can see good because I'll be further back. And it's over here. You want to walk around? No, we'll get no the I do not want to walk around here. Look at that nice view, though. Oh, that is a nice view. Look, this is the exact spot. What? This is the spot right here. What spot? That we have to do. Yeah. The, the view is nice. Video. What is this? Like a hiking trail or somebody's house? This guy's number is two. Yeah, baby, record. What is this? This is somebody's house because there's a mailbox. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's somebody's house. Ew, I would not want to drive down that driveway. Ever. Yeah, this is so scary. Wait, so... Oh shit. I wonder who lives there. <coughs> Maybe someone crazy lives there. Possibly. Oh, you saw that? <gasps> what, what the fuck? The fuck? That's an owl. That's an owl. Oh shit. What's your brain lights? What's your brain lights?
So Gio stopped recording for one second when he was handing me the camera, but I turned it back on, you'll see right now. But Lupita had an interesting theory. She thinks her and I were the only ones who could see the owl because not even Gio saw it. And as hard as I watched the footage back, I cannot find the owl anywhere. But it is very possible that it's hiding behind Lupita's big ass bun or just above the window out of sight. But I don't know, it's just weird. Wait, you're recording me? Dude, an owl just flew across. I saw that. I oh was pointing, but I didn't see nothing. God. An owl literally just flew across. Make a U-turn? Maybe we can see it again. Dude, we saw an owl. That was a huge ass owl. It was actually really big. Like a big. And I, I saw it. Well, I was recording, but I didn't see it myself. Like, I didn't see it. Two, three. Okay, that owl was pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. But okay. it went harmless, right? No. Somebody sent an, in a story, but she said um that her like friend, her family friend from Mexico, she was a bruja and she moved in with them and she would do brujeria and stuff. She told them to get rid of like everything that has to do with owls and all that. And later they find out that my mom told me that like, owls are bad. Wait, wait, let me that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, later they find out that owls are protection from brujas and stuff. That they're good. Wow, I didn't know that. Someone in the trailers has an owl in, in top of their trailer. I don't want to say who. Oh, but it's fake though. Yeah, but like. It's interesting. Yeah. Look, here's what I think about owls. I think that, because you know how they say if you see an owl, like you're going to die or whatever? I feel like it's more like a warning. So what was that? Uh <laughs> so we're dying? No, we're good. Dude, I think that's so crazy. Like, we literally manifested that we wanted to see something crazy and we saw. Now we're flying. Crazy, but it didn't harm us. Yeah. Are you no. recording me or are you recording my Jill didn't house? see it. Didn't no, see I'm it. recording what your big you? ass. Uh, but you really didn't see the owl. No, I didn't Like, it was it. a big ass owl, literally. I was trying so hard to look at it, I couldn't find it. Dude, that's all crazy, Monica. I'm scared. I'm low key scared too. Should we call it? Call what? The owl? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should we call it at night? Like, should we stop? Should we do another one in the daytime? Yeah, I think we should do one tomorrow. Okay, because... Uh, yeah. Uh -uh, I'm scared. That owl freaked me out. Yeah, the owl kind of freaked me out too. I have it in my chest. Like, oh, okay, yeah, let's just go home. Okay. All right. Guys, so here's what's happening. Um, nobody loves me, nobody wants to hang out with me. Everybody hates me, the whole world hates me. So what I have to do is I have Who are you to, talking to I have to go do random nautica by myself because everyone hates me. And I have no sisters and no parents. I'm gonna make myself cry. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go random nodding and if um, I get killed because nobody wanted to go with me, then so be it. Oh my God, you heard me? Yeah. Oh, you weren't meant to hear me. Also, look at my room. It doesn't look like I live in a trap house anymore. Really I really <laughs> Look, we just split it. I wasn't about to spat with her damn room. This bitch split that the world. I'm a, just a little lonely Aquarius that nobody loves. Why is yours like that? Mine is like this. <laughs> because I put it inside. You just said to put, you just said to clip it. You didn't say to fucking put it in your shirt. Okay, so here we are again doing random nautica. And we're gonna do this very, very quickly because this camera that I'm using has like a two minute battery life. So let's go. Pro random nautica. We're gonna do a tractor avoid. Our first one is motivation. Motivation. So generate motivation. Think about it. 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 What if we say something fed up? Motivation. Normani. What? Oh, the first time. Generate a location. Oh god. I thought you wanted to see her. Get out of this. Generate new. It looks point. like a toddler is pressing the buttons, bro. Uh, bitch. Okay. The meaning of life. The meaning of life. The meaning of life. The meaning of life. What is the meaning of all of this? The meaning of life. The meaning of life. Fifth harmony. The meaning of life. Bruh. <laughs> Generate. 
can we allow your mind to manifest the meaning of life? Why are we here? Imagine people think we're Google. Google Maps, like taking pictures of the world. I want you to look at the camera and say that. No. I was here for a party once. Me too. <laughs> what? What? Keep recording. This is weird. I knew it was going to take us to the damn docks. Were we allowed? No. Then why are we this going? the meaning of life. The meaning of life. The meaning of life. If you guys have any, like, significance, like, theories that you think anything that we Frost came across row. means, like, let us know. You're going on the bridge? Nelly, why you have to scare me? Bro, don't, why are you so miedosa? Fuck, I hate this bridge. Why? What happened? I literally went on by myself. I was about to get a panic attack. Then why are we going? Go back. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy people or just, you're scared of being on people it? People just jump off of this bridge. What's wrong with you? They do. Bro, make a U-turn. What are you doing? Yeah, let me just make a U-turn. I'm going on the other side, but also record that. Yeah, this is scary. Bro, it smells like fart in this bitch. Well, how about close your damn mouth? <laughs> Bro, look at where the f oh it took God. us. <laughs> what the? F this is cool. Oh my God. Stop being a pussy. Oh, we forgot our masks. Okay. So, I cannot see the point, the generator point. Not quite sure which direction I am or what's going on. I think we're supposed to go through here. Wait, what does it say? It's, it's saying to turn left, but we can't turn Birthing left. Birthing for permits only. We're just gonna walk. Oh, shit. Yeah, be careful that you have your phone and shit. I'm scared. Oh, I don't like this. Christy, wake up. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like it. <laughs> no, I don't like it. It's okay. I don't like it, go. Go. <laughs> I Bitch, I got f***ing vertigo. What does that mean? Okay, this is insane. I think we got the message. It's the meaning of life. Nothing. Water. Water. Oh my god, that made my legs wobble like my legs are shaking. <laughs> oh look, Pisces. Where? <gasps> oh! I can't walk past here. Do you want me to do it? I'm just so scared. Do you want me to walk in front of you? It's because there's like a fear in me. Girl, do you want me to walk in front of no, you? No, 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 no. You're good. No, because it's making me my vertigo act up. Girl, then... Oh, no! Go, 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 go! You're scaring me. Is that your pussy? Oh, this is scary! <laughs> I told you, bitch! What the fuck? <coughs> I don't like it. That's very interesting. Isn't the girl you like a Pisces? So, I should shoot my shot and update everyone. I've always wanted to go fishing. Me too. We should go fishing. I'm down. Like I always say, it's not a. Oh. What? We zoomed in all the way. <laughs> it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Aww. You got over a lot of fears. Wait! They have animals here? What? What do you see? Oh. Where's the actual point, though? Pretty sure it's that way. 
I think it's back over there. Okay, so we're gonna be rats and we're just gonna, don't look at my butt crack. Give me the chair. There's this mini fridge. <laughs> There's these buoys. This, oh God, do I open it? There's nothing in it, it's empty. <laughs> it's the other way, I think, actually. <sighs> empty. Cheetos, trash. I can see how it relates. I would piss on myself in the middle of Times Square before I go down there. Or, or, or. But look, it says trespassing private property. Uh, we're famous, so it's okay. Bruh, I think they mean the so ocean. So the exact point, which we cannot get to, and I <laughs> refuse to get to. You're a big tripping bitch. You can barely cross the bridge. Well, this I have something. Oh, the cat. Oh, cat. So the point is all the way over there. That piece of land. Oh, look, people sit here and take sh** here. There's a sh** potty right there. There's a sh** porta potty thing. Oh, there is a porta potty. But this is it. Sick. Should we think here? Should we sit here and think about life? Yeah. Oh, you did not just record me like that. Say something inspirational for the last. Wow. Um, when life gives you lemons, you push money guns to the ocean. Melly! <laughs> she really pushed me. <laughs> she really pushed me. What the fuck is that thing away from me? What the fuck is your problem? An oyster. I don't know if somebody ate that. <laughs> Naturally occurring. Did you just say that? Do you think they fly or something, bitch? Nelly noticed angel number 888. Let's look up what that means. It's one of the most positive angel messages you can receive. It's unique in terms of repeating numbers as this powerful number almost always means the angel message is a positive one. Full of positive energy and is often thought to be lucky in cultures throughout the world. The number has no beginning and no end. Thinking of this rolling eight design and is perfectly balanced. You can feel truly blessed if this number keeps showing up in your life as it foretells great things. In addition to having no begin, are you recording me good? Are you like? I am. In addition to having no beginning and no end, the angel number 888 also shows the endless flow of life as well. What? The shows the endless flow of life as well as the endless flow of abundance. The universe is made of endless cycles of ebb and flow, and it's important to understand that the good fortune that comes with this number will also one day pass. It carries a message with it, a message of responsibility. You must prepare in times of planning so you do not lack in times of scarcity. You can expect greater amounts of money, but take time to budget. Don't spend it all, or you won't have any when the cycle flows into the next stage. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I guess we're saying goodbye to this place. Bye, thank you, universe.